How's it going guys? Today we have this 2007 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 2LZ trim in Le Mans blue. And uh, this is one badass Corvette. Uh, quite a bit to go over with it. So what the goal of these walk around videos is we're gonna do a 360 exterior. Try to point out as many flaws and defects that I can. And we'll go into the engine bay, fire it up, and then show the interior as well. Uh, backstory on the car, or short backstory. We brought it out of uh, Pennsylvania and Race Proven Motorsports have built this car. It's got a Texas Speed sleeve built, forged rotating assembly, 427. So it's got all the right parts, upgraded crank, piston rods, um, and it's got Race Proven Motorsports cylinder heads and pretty uh assumed that it's got their b3 cam uh, this basically is like their stage three heads cam package and what i've gathered is this car is built back in 2019 so pretty awesome setup these things are known to make a lot of power once they build those things out there in maryland um, but with the exterior i'm going to try to point out as many flaws that i can and we'll start off here with the front end so the whole front of this car is actually PPDF or clear bra. So the entire front bumper, headlights, hood, and the fenders fully are PPDF. Uh, one of the big things that this car does need is a nice paint correction. Um, I'm sure it's been a, quite a while since it's had a pretty serious detail done. So there will, there will be some light scratches, uh, water spots, stuff like that that you get just over time that most of that will come out with a good paint correction. Uh, the paint's still good on the car, there's no fade. Uh, very minimal defects, but my job here is to point out as many as I can, as if you were here looking at the car in person. So we'll show you the front end, and I'll try to get on camera. You see these light water spots, which that's actually all in the PPF film itself, but a lot of that can come right out. Um, you are going to have rock chips throughout the car. This is a lowered car. But the whole point of the PPF is to actually protect the paint. And I'll show you the front end. These just popped. The front looks good. It does have smoked side markers front and rear. It's a couple of chips which a lot of that is usually in the PPF itself, not in the actual paint. And there's a scuff here that's also in the PPF. It's not even deep. Again, doing its job. Um, the air dam is bent slightly here. It's like it's warped. Uh, usually these things aren't even on these cars. They don't last very long because people park too close to the curb. Um, I'm a huge fan when they do the PPF on the headlights because it reduces the aging. <clears throat> so the headlights still look really awesome. Uh, you don't have the light scratches or web cracks in them, which is pretty good. And then the Corvette badge has a nice vinyl layer over it. Go over to the driver front fender and really nothing, no defects in it. Just again, needs a nice detail. <clears throat> so you driver door. The, uh, the rockers down there are also PPDF in on the passenger side, there is some peeling, which I will highlight. This door also looks pretty good. Um, they did not PP up the mirror caps. Not sure why, that's usually one thing you always wanna get covered up. Now, generally on these cars, specifically on the water body, you're gonna get pitting in this area. It's just from rocks and debris getting thrown up from the front, front wheels. So you're gonna have light pitting. Um, a really good detailer can buff a lot of that out so you can't really notice it 
you do have that. Um, we do have a light scratch here. That also can be buffed. I think, feels like it can be. Looks good. We did put brand new tires, front and rear, new brakes, front and rear. Um, we did, you know, spend some of the expensive maintenance already on this car, which is usually breaking tires. You can see a lot of the light swirls that you just get over time. None of them are deep that will grab your finger. Actually, the rear end. This car also has the black Z06 badges. I believe they're painted that way. Um, and then you have the covers. Usually with these, you actually can remove them. If you don't like the smoke look, it just sticks over the tail light. Uh, that's wax, it looks like. That's nice. So, rear bumper looks good. <clears throat> so, a lot of the imperfections are actually be found on this side of the car. So we do have a scratch here on this body line. That will not buff out. And then up here, it looked like something hit and then basically cracked the paint. Um, not super bad because none of the paint's coming off. But you can see a little crack mark. Um, and then the PPF here is peeling. So. That's peeling right there. It could be older PPF as well. Um, and then this mirror has a lot of scratches. A lot of little stuff that will buff out, but a lot of little scratches here. Um, none of it feels super deep. <clears throat> and then on the PPF, you have a scuff. Not really a scratch. Um, that can come out too. And then, I think that's, yeah, PPF. Another air bubble in the PPF. That is pretty much it for uh, the cosmetics. Um, the interior, I don't remember, has much issue. This window, so the common Corvette deal. The wire harness for the window actuator um, sometimes they'll move in the way of the actual window so right now this window won't go all the way down it'll stop because it's hitting that harness it's really common on these and just got to pull the door handle off move the wire out of the way window goes up and down it still functions normal uh, but it stops probably right there the interior looks really good though it's got the ebony black, and they call this a titanium interior. So basically like a two-tone. Got both sets of keys. So this here looks pretty nice. Go over here. All the stitching is still there on the driver's seat. This, this spot specifically is known to wear out on these cars and uh, still pretty good. So interior looks really good. The steering wheel isn't beat the crap yet. It's always nice to see. <clears throat> the star of the show though lives under the hood. So what we got is uh, your monster twin dish clutch remote bleeder. Makes it way easier to bleed once you have that. You do have your American Racing 
two inch long tube headers. You got the thick boys in there. And then your very ram cold air intake. <clears throat> this is a really good intake. It actually, you can see where it channels the air up. So that little square is an induction scoop, basically. And uh, you do have the built motor with the heads. Texas Speed will label their motors. So down there, you can see, might be able to zoom in. That is where they label their blocks. And then there's actually a build number uh, right above it. And that's how we found out that it had the uh, sleeved LS7. I called them up, gave them the engine number, and they gave me the whole breakdown on what, what they built for it. And then who ordered it, which was Race Proven Motorsports. Take this off. Move that shit out of the way. Might be able to see it. Uh, let's see if I can zoom. Can't really get it, but it does say RPM right there on the cylinder head. It's a hard one to get on this camera. But yep, race proven heads. Uh, it's got fresh oil. We have a uh, mobile one 10 w30 in it currently Still dry sump um, Yeah, pretty nasty setup. We'll start it here in a second Close that and then We'll hop inside It does have an aftermarket shifter, so it's definitely a lot tighter. So let's start it up. It does need some gas, because it ain't got no gas in it. So, one thing to add, we have not retuned the car for Arizona because we do so much out of state, so it's still on the 93 tune. And I did do a few pulls with it just to make sure it runs good because it came with a little bit of fuel uh, when we brought it in. Uh, but if you do live somewhere where you don't have 93, it would be very smart to get it retuned because I know RPM tune is pretty aggressive on the 93 the car should probably make around at least 620 with their heads cam package plus the motor there's, there's still more you can do with this if you want to pick up a little bit more power um common one is you could do a mammo ported uh msd intake manifold or do a fast lsx and then you always want to pair that with a bigger throttle body um, and then you could do flex fuel if you want to do flex fuel you actually you can run the kit where it taps in this fuel line or replaces this line. And then you can uh, self adjust to either 91 up to E85. Pretty cool. So it's a great car. 
has uh, around 35, 36,000 miles. <clears throat> if you want to make sure it is still available, go to azautohunters.com. And if you have an Instagram, shoot us a follow at azautohunters. Other than that, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate that. And that is a wrap.